I have two quick stories for you here. One relates to the country of origin for Lewis's dad, and the other relates to my country of origin. We will start first with Iran, where Lewis's dad is from. Iran has executed a 37 year old man for insulting the prophet Jonah. This is being uh, he was found guilty of heresy and insulting prophet Jonah. According to human rights activist Mosin Amir Aslani was arrested nine years ago for his activities, which the authorities deemed heretical. He was engaged in psychotherapy, but also led sessions reading and reciting the Quran and providing his own interpretation of the Quran. He was hanged last week for making, quote, innovations in the religion and spreading corruption on earth. Iran's judiciary, which was responsible for the handling of the case, has denied that the execution was linked to his religious beliefs. They say that he had illicit sexual relationships with a number of people who were participating in his sessions. They have presented little evidence, of course, that that is the case. The people of Iran, Lewis, are a uh, often uh, young. They skew young in terms of age demographics. They skew progressive, but the regime there is just absolutely brutal and theocratic. And I can understand why you were saying, Lewis, that your dad is not particularly interested in going back now. It's a mess. Yes, this is what happens when uh, religious fanatics are, are running your country. It's a complete dictatorship uh, under the Ayatollah. And this is the type of thing that happens. They've been trying to block Internet use. They've been trying to stop the spread of information, uh, you know, Education over there is not what it should be. Can you imagine, Lewis, the helplessness you would feel with a noose around your neck for nothing, right? For doing psychotherapy and interpreting the, the, the religious text. And I'm sure that there are people who want to speak out, uh, but who are afraid of, of falling victim to, to a, a noose. And uh, we saw the, the protests years ago. It ended with gunfire and, and citizens being killed. And that's what stopped the protests. It's, it's a very bad state over there.